Hey guys, this is Juice with part two of Are You Ready for Combat in the Mustang? And this is also related to the guns uh, in DCS World. And I probably, in retrospect, probably should have combined these two together. But I had always planned on doing a little bit more in-depth on the K-14 gun sight. So, like I said before, you'll need to have something set up for your guns to, gun sights to turn them on and that's uh, up here for guns and camera and somebody asked in one of the questions what would you use camera only for it's not functional in the DCS world but the real world Mustang had the camera only and you could use it for training you know practice gun kills with the camera on uh, with safe mode uh, you could also use it for reconnaissance if you were flying over something wanted to take some pictures with the gun cameras and uh, th so I, as far as I know they're not functional in DCS world but if you know uh, more than me, let it, let us know. So I have shut down here with the sun at the best angle, and let's go ahead and shut off the mags, and we'll shut off the fuel. All right, I've got the power on the aircraft, so we can still see. So you remember I said you're going to have to come up with something. If you if you either want to click on it, you can do it over here, right here. Click on the switch, up or down. Right click usually goes up, left click goes down. It's a three position switch down there. I have that mapped to one of my HOTAS switches, like I said in the first video. And then you can also switch the symbology here by using this little rotary thing right there on the side of the eyebrow, right next to that flashlight there, just above the airspeed indicator. So I'm going to put it on the floating one. And then over here, you'll need to also turn on the gyro motor, which allows it to move over there. Now while we're over here on the browser, let me show you something else that you'll want to do is you'll want to take and program in. I'm just using the left right on my my stick and you want to program in a brightness so you can make it brighter or less if you want to. And that's a function over there. Now the other two things that I really want to get into real quick and it's not going to be a long video is two of the things that I have programmed is I have my wingspan up here in the top, that's the span. You can see the reticle getting bigger. And supposedly, if you have, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you have the wings at the tips of the star and everything, you're at the right range uh, for how you are. So let's say, let's say a typical fighter is about 3,500 uh, wingspan or 3, 35 feet wingspan. Let's say we're going to go about 35. Uh, feet for the wingspan on a typical German fighter and then I'm gonna go in the range I'm gonna shoot him about 15 uh, about 1500 feet I'm sorry yeah 600 feet there's a thousand feet there's 15 so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to engage I'm gonna use my eyeball to try to estimate about 1500 feet but as I change the range watch what, ha watch what happens to the reticle see it changes the size as well as the wingspan adjustments so I have those on my HOTAS stick. If you guys have that, you can do that. If not, you just got to reach up here with your mouse, left click, and then just move your mouse up and down, and it'll change it, and you can stop right where you want. Let's stop at 40. And then over here, same thing. If you go over here to this, find the sweet spot right there. Nope. I don't know where the sweet spot is. If you guys know, put it in the comment. Let's see if we can find it here. Is it over there? That's going to be hard to find. So what I do is I have it set to an up and down. See that knob is vertical? So I just have it set. So let's put it at 1,500 feet and just bump it right there. Cool. That's all I have for this episode. Uh, stay tuned. We'll do some more stuff on engine management in the next one, part three, in a couple of days. You guys stay safe. Have a great weekend. Bye.